Question six. So we actually need here the lowest common multiple. Now the easiest way of doing that is to think about, well, eight. Eight is two times two times two. Now you could just write out your eight times table and your six times table and your five times table until you come to the first number where they're all going to be the same. Um, but it'd be easier if we now just think, well, six, that's two multiplied by three. And if you know about lowest common multiples, then this would be much, much easier. So to work out the lowest common multiple, the easiest thing to do is to do this. So if I've got eight, six, and five, just set it out like this. See some people, they set this out in a Venn diagram, which is actually quite a neat idea. So that's two, two, two. And then I've got six is two and three, and five, it doesn't agree with anything above, so therefore we're not going to include that. So all we need to do is if we do two multiplied by, just ignore the repeats, two and two, three and five. And if you multiply those together, that equals 120. So that's how many red buttons, silver buttons, gold buttons we're actually going to need. So to work out for each packet, so red will be 120 divided by 8, which is 15. So that was red. And then for silver, 120 divided by 6 which is uh, 20 and then for gold gold was the other one wasn't it 120 divide by 5 and that's going to be 24 so all together we can have 15 packets of red ones 20 packets and 24 packets and remember you could if you didn't know you could just write out your eight times table your six times table and your five times